Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is part program for drilling operation. I have taken a very simple example which you can use and solve other examples. Write a program to drill a hole as shown in figure. The plate thickness is 10 mm. In examination, if plate thickness is not given, you can assume as 5 or 10 mm. Let us start with the solution. First, we have to take the workpiece reference as lower left corner. So, we will take this lower left corner as the workpiece reference point. Here, the x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate is 0. So, if we consider the tool is like this. So, here the x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate is 0. So, first we will start with a table where we will mention the positions of the drilling tool. So here as we know that there is only one position. So we have written position number 1 x and y coordinate as 20 and 30. And now let us see the different codes which we will be using for the part programming. G90 is absolute positioning because we will be always taking the reference of the workpiece reference point. That's why we have taken G90 that is absolute positioning. The other positioning is incremental which we are not using over here. G21 that is input in mm that is that the programming which we are doing is in mm. G94 is feed rate in mm per mi minutes and then M03 that is spindle start because when our job starts first thing which we have to do is start our spindle where the drill bit is fixed. Then we have to on the coolant. So M08 is coolant on. G00 is rapid positioning because we have to do the job or the work as soon as possible. So where there is no cutting operation we can do positioning fast. So we use G00 rapid positioning. G01 is linear interpolation. The movement where there is straight line movement we use G01. G28 is automatic return to reference point. So basically this is also used once the operation is completed. G28 if it is used it automatically goes to the reference point. M05 is spindle stop after the job is done. M09 is coolant off that is after the job is done. And M30 is when the program gets ended that is end program or program end and the tape rewind. So let us start with the programming and see how it is done. The program. This is a number which you will only assign to just know what is your program number. You can give any number over here. There is no compulsion. This is only for your reference. So the program what I have done on the left hand side I have written the program and on the right side I have described it. You can write it like this. The program number is just any number which you can give and this is a sequence number N110. So here you, if you can see the sequence number N110 then 120, 130, 140. So this is only just a sequence number of your program. So first we will define the mode and if it is an mm and then we will define about the feed. So that's why we have written G90 g21 g94 which defines that this is an absolute program and the input or the programming is done in mm and g94 which defines that the feed rate will be in mm per minute and eob means end of this particular block then we move on to the next block where we again say the sequence number m03 that we start the spindle Okay, and here we are writing S1100 that is we are defining the spindle speed. Here you can assume 1000, 1100 it depends because here we can here we have assumed is 1100. So you can assume the same and then M08 which says that the now you are on the coolant. So M08 is coolant on. 
EOB that is the end of block here you have ended this particular block now since the job is positioned and you have positioned and you have defined your reference point and now you want to start the job but if you start the job and the drill bit has to move freely so that it reaches the location Z x20 and y20 so for that the drill bit should be away from the workpiece so what we will do we will say n130 g00 which is the rapid positioning so that we position the tool bit okay drill bit and z5 that is we will move the drill bit away from the job by 5 mm so here this drill bit will move away by 5 mm so that now when you give them the command or give it the command so it can move to the drilling position so what we have done we have defined that z should be 5 mm so it moves away from the job so then once it moves away from the job then we will command that g00 that is rapid travel here again we are saying rapid travel because we don't want to waste the time as we are doing only movement not the cutting operation then now the workpiece will reach 20 mm in z direction and 30 mm in y direction okay so here it positions the tool and end of this particular block now still the drilling operation has not begun okay only the drill bit has now the position x20 and y30 so now the drill, drill bit is like this so once you give it the operation now it is like this and once you give the command then it will do the drilling operation now it is here position like this 5 mm above because z is 5 mm and you have already defined x20 and y30 so now the position of drill bit is like this here and in this section you can see that the drill bit is like this so now you have defined g01 because linear movement okay linear interpolation and z minus 10 because your workpiece or the plate thickness is 10 mm minus 10 because you are saying that the drill bit should go past the workpiece so now minus 10 means z will go like this and do the drilling operation okay so and f90 okay you have defined the feed that is f90 this minus 10 means your drill bit is moving 15 mm as it was 5 mm above the workpiece and now it has moved 10 mm below so the total travel is 5 mm and 10 mm that is 15 mm then once the drilling operation is done the tool bit or the drill bit should come 5 mm above the job so after the drilling operation again the drill bit will come 5 mm above and then g28 so that it rapid return to the machine reference position and then m05 which defines spindle off then again m09 which says coolant should be off then m30 which says that the program has now end and tape rewind so this last block is normally same for most of the program spindle off coolant off and program end and every block we write eob which is end of block and the sequence number is on the left hand side and eob end of block is on the right hand side so this was part programming for drilling operation hope it helped you to understand part programming for drilling operation please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching